congratulations on the success of season one of Yellowstone. Thank you. Um, you guys and your relationship is one of my favorite parts. And back in season one. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It seemed like it seemed like you guys had an unbreakable bond. And then, of course, <laughs> that did not turn out to be the case. <laughs> so is your relationship forever damaged or can you guys find a way back to each other? I wish I knew the answer to that question. I don't, you know, it, the, the nature of doing this show is we kind of find out as we go as well. Um, yeah, and I think they would want nothing good. more. Like, I know we... Oh, go, go. <laughs> I was going to say we root for them. Yeah, yeah, we personally <laughs> hope that they end up together. Um, but yeah. you never know. And, uh, and But, you know, uh, Casey is, is trying very much to, to try to, you know, scramble and fix what he can about himself to, to be able to get her back. But for now, um, Monica is alone on the reservation. Are we going to get to see her um, more of her personal life and choices she makes for herself and her son? Absolutely. Um, yeah, you see her navigate, you know, what life looks like without the Duttons. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, and, and, and being a mo single mom and being a single lady. <laughs> <laughs> That's like perfect. That. Yeah. <laughs> no, he does like that especially. But yeah. it's yeah. You're back on the reservation. Are there any uh, sibling uh, rivalries that we're gonna explore more next season? Oh uh, yeah, I'm back on the ranch, and uh, I'm in ranch. Yes. Okay, it's okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, there, there's you know there's a lot of people you didn't really get to see Casey with, or I think you know him and Beth only ever had one scene together the whole first season, and um, now you know. You see in the end of season one, he's, he's sleeping in the bunkhouse. You know, he's now going to, to family dinners at the at the big house. And so you're starting to kind of see him bleed into these other storylines. Um, uh, and that was really fun, actually. It was, it was nice to, to kind of get to see some new people. <laughs> Great. So then there's Tate, who's kind of stuck in the middle between these two opposing forces. So um, are we going to see him at the center of conflicts? And maybe how do each of you approach single parenting I think yeah you do see him act out and and you know what it's like to be between I mean I think I think Casey and Monica are so <laughs> so easy on him mm -hmm. um, because they do realize the the situation that he's in um, and Brecken is so talented and does a really great job and we've been able to see him kind of grow up over the years too um, he'll be Driving and going on dates. <laughs> yes. Not really. He's done. <laughs> <laughs> then, finally, um, there's kind of a like you know the prodigal son aspect of Casey returning to the ranch, and then you've got Rip, who's always been there and like always been like the right hand of the father. So, sure. is there any tension there between the two of you, like the way that things get done on the ranch? Absolutely, a lot of it. That's a big. Uh, that's a big storyline in, in season two. Is just how how do you get these two kind of alpha type dudes to work together, mm -hmm. rather than against each other? Um, and you know they kind of have to to realize who like the real boss is. And and you know, so yeah, that's a, that's that was a really fun story. Not fun. It's not <laughs> a fun storyline at all. But it was fun, fun to, to work on. Yeah. <laughs>